and are about the issues discussed. Uh, discussed. I have joining me via Zoom, the maestro himself, Babaji De Kolado to Stoju. Good to see you again, BKO, this evening. Good evening, Brian. Good evening, our viewers. Right. Uh, findings by the special investigator into the activities of the CBN uh, of the CBN under Godwin Emefile, it, it discovered that Mr. Emefile illegally launched billions of naira in foreign currencies in no fewer than 593 bank accounts in the United States, in the UK, and China without the approval of the Apex Bank's board of directors and the CBN investigative, or, or, sorry, investment committee, and several other things. BKO, if these were true, this might be one of the greatest heists of the Nigerian Treasury. Yes, and I have no reason in the world to believe that this is not true. Jim Mobaze, uh, whom the president gave that job on the 28th of July this year, is someone very familiar with that territory. And uh, I'm not surprised at the kind of the monumental scandal that he has come up with in the, the course of his work. People can say all kinds of things. Oh, Mefele is being uh, persecuted. Mefele is this, Mefele. To shut their eyes to the truth, to reality, and blindly support an individual that does not really deserve to be supported. So in this case, we had a CBN governor whom throughout his years as CBN governor, remember he got the president's note for a second term in office. The, the finances of the CBN were never on. I was, and you know, people always say that he couldn't have done it without the connivance of the people in government. Look at what the uh, panel, look at the... Uh, the discovery of the pardon. It says officers of the immediate past administration, as well as the SY CBN governor and his four deputy governors, connived, defrauded, and stole from the Commonwealth of our country with the aid of civil servants. So, no doubt about it, a Mayfield couldn't have done all of this without the connivance of some individuals but we are talking about a mayfele because he was a cbn governor it was his duty to manage the economy manage especially the the our money policy but our monetary policy i mean but what did we see a mayfele stole so much money and at a point, he became convinced that given all the resources at his disposal, given the quantum of money that he had stolen, that he could actually become the president of Nigeria, that he could actually buy himself to the presidency. He went as far as even going to court, trying to stop INEC or whoever from stopping him from contesting for the presidency of our country. How can the head of the regulatory bank be so neck deep in politics. It was because the system and the government of the day, at the time, the government uh, of, uh, um, of the day, the Buhari regime, permitted a Mefele to do virtually whatever he wanted, just because he was also doing his best to please. The key people in that government, those who make, who, who, who are the part to make big things happen in the government. So, according to the investigator, Jim Obazi, the so-called ways and means was used to defraud our country. Not just that, a Mayfield spent 1.7 billion on questionable legal fees arising from the about 19 or such cases arising from the Naira redesign policy. 1.7 billion spent on 19 uh, um, uh, cases filed against the CBN 
over the uh, the city Nara redesign policy. Now, talking about the ways and means, the, the uh, investigator said there are instances when no approvals are received from the former president. Yet, 500 billion is taken and debited and debited to ways and means. The CBN governor and his four deputies could not produce the presidential approval of most of the expenses described as ways and means. They could not provide presidential approval for most of the expenses described as ways and means. So the ways and means things was just um, uh, one way by which these big time bankers continue to defraud our nation so going back to even the the main reason why we are here the report submitted on the 20th of december showed clearly that they may fairly use proxies to acquire union bank of nigeria for titan trust bank according to the investigator Jim Obazi, he also used proceeds to acquire Keystone Bank and Polaris Bank without any evidence of payment. Come on. Without any evidence of payment, he used proceeds to acquire Keystone Bank and Polaris Bank. Then he lodged funds, billions of Naira public funds in 593 bank accounts in the US, the UK and China without the approval of the CBS board and the investment committee of the APS bank. To be precise, he lodged 543,482,203 pounds in UK banks alone. 543 million 482,213 in UK banks alone without approval. Now, those banks that he acquired through fraudulent means, they are likely to be forfeited to, to government. Let me also uh, say that Titan Trust Bank is based on the findings of the, the investigator. Titus Trust Bank is said to belong to Luxis International DMCC and Magna International DMCC, said to be based in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. However, efforts to verify the corporate status of Lexus failed as they didn't have any free seeker presence in the United Arab Emirates. Ideally, they should, given that they cannot even prove that this is their parent company, this that uh, they are physically present in the country that they claim is their country uh, um, beginning to the end. And that is the particular case that they are trying in for. If these facts had been discovered before now. A male failure will have been, they will have charged in for uh, the abuse of the ways and means uh, 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 um, by the CBN, by the right, CBN government. Um, the, the special. Ideally, ideally, it shouldn't, the ways and means. Uh, they shouldn't be abused the way it's been abused every time instead of the people in government to be creative about looking for money they just uh, continue to print money and all that they just go to the, the direction of CBN and they were borrowing money to pay for salaries to pay salaries and all that in the name of ways and means mm. that's where we are where we are today and if indeed it did not get the um, approval of the CBM, uh, the buying of the CBM board, 
for this currency um, redesign, he has committed an offense. All right, Biko. Uh, talking about the current yeah. currency redesign, the, the special investigator, Jim Obazi, also indicated that the recent Naira redesign wasn't expressly approved by former President uh, Muhammad Buhari, but it came from Buhari's age, known as um, Sabi Otunde Yusuf, who many fondly called the de facto vice president because of the power he wielded. Uh, there are several others that were also mentioned alongside MFA's misgivings at the, uh, at the Apex Bank. How do you think the law should yes. be activated on them? Of course. Of course, I'm, I'm sure that in the fullness of time, we will get to some of these people because, look, there is no way Nigerians will be happy with President Tinobu if he does not find a way to get some of these people. Did APC government under Buhari permit the seventh central bank governor to contest in presidential primary without resigning as CBN governor with undue advantage? Oluchuku Kletter says, Good evening, the maestro. He did not, Mr. Wait, wait, Ibrahim. before you go on, Ibrahim, he did not contest in the primaries. He was stopped. That's right. Before he got to the level of the primary. Mefele was not on the ballot during the primary, so that one is not That's correct. Right. He was stopped. He tried to uh, to contest, but he was stopped along right. the way. So he did not contest, but he made Attempt. efforts. He had bought vehicles and all that. He actually wanted to contest, but he, he, he had to give up um, at the That's last right. minute. Just the same way that uh, Ulo Jonathan, it was said that Ulo Jonathan would contest, but along the line, he chickened out. So he didn't mm. eventually contest. Yeah, that, that answers it. Oluchuku Kletter says, Good evening, the maestro and Mr. Shita. MFLA actually dealt with so many persons. I know of somebody that lost his life then due to the cash crunch. Uh, Stephen Ihim says, The investigator said 13 names were involved, but it was only MFLA that, 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 was, that was mentioned. Let them mention the names of others involved. What about Tinubu, William Vans on the eve of an election? Uh, Folu Ajibala says, Babajide wants to use MFLA issues to save Tinubu's government so that people will not be blaming uh, Tinubu for his bad economy. Uh, Nelson Adufer says MFLA is the only person who can expose those involved or aid him in his deadly monetary policy and embezzlement. Let MFLA speak to, uh, record, to records of his allegation. He dealt with many Nigerians severely. Um, Keshiro, Keshiro Fatima said, is this not madness for a single person to open 593 bank accounts and use proxies to acquire three banks without due diligence? So, very quickly before I take my last question, Biko, uh, they said that um, you're only trying to use that. You, Babajide, you're alleged to be using MFLA's issue to uh, distract people from blaming uh, Bola Ametinobu's bad economic policies. People are free to, you see, this, this sort of comment is very ridiculous. Our people should be smarter than this. I will not sit here. Was there, before he became president, uh, was Obajide not living his life? What, what, what kind of ridiculous uh, uh, insinuations are these? The president knows that he has to fix the economy. He has already said that, look, do not pity me. I ask for this job. Right. He has to fix the economy. He has to fix the hunger in the land. All the time on journalists and campaign, we know that there are some sacrifices that we have to make. But the leaders themselves must make sacrifices, must take steps to ease the pain on Nigeria. I keep saying that. That's right. And I know. Not a Yoruba or a Hausa man. Um, but I need to quickly take this question because of our time. Anyway, after several days in custody scenes, um, MFLA was granted uh, 300 million Naira bail by the FCT High Court. Godwin MFLA has been released from the Kujie Correctional Center after meeting up with, uh, meeting up with his bail condition. What implications would this latest uh, damning expose of his corruption allegations have on his freedom going forward? We know how the anti-graft agencies can be fierce in fighting suspects. No, they will, they will definitely uh, rearrest him. He has he has questions to ask uh, to answer. So whether some people are supporting him or not, 
the anti graft agencies will do their work. If we are a serious nation, they will pick him up. Let him account for some of this and let him answer these questions. Let him produce the approvals he got for some of the things that he did. So that we can blame the former president former president. But if a person has done what Emefele did, not having the finances of the CBN audited all through the years that he was he was a uh, governor, is that not bad enough? Does that not suggest that he had a lot to hide? No, we will not because uh, the economy is uh, going through a very bad patch at this time. Does not mean that other people who served in the previous administration have been washed clean. No. We will criticize, I personally will criticize them. I'm, I will criticize them. We will remind the president that, look, you've done more than six months already, and time waits for no one. So it's not a case of, oh, because the noble is in power, Dide will not criticize, uh, criticize them. I can assure you that even President Tinobu knows that that time will never come when I will not be able to criticize them. Because he knows me. Stop deceiving yourself that I will not criticize the president. If I feel that the president